What's up guys, this is Omega Liar, and I'm finally awake, back, bringing you a gameplay here on Outpost using the M16 with a red dot and kick. Uh, the new M16 is literally amazing. Uh, as far as compared to the Type 95, I would say there's hardly a difference at this point. They're pretty much, they have the same practical use, they're both somewhat powerful up close if you have the, uh, the advantage in the situation. Uh, obviously neither of the two are full auto, so you're not going to be... Um, in the best situation in close range, but as you see right there, you can still pick up kills. Um, and a lot of my kills are on close range in this game, but um, that's not really what I want to talk about. This is actually a long tips video that I probably should have done a while ago, but I never really thought about doing something like this. Uh, so I'll explain my class setup and I'll go through uh, what I think is useful about this particular setup. So, M16, secondary stinger. Uh, this is a support class, as you can probably tell from the title. The idea of this, um, mainly based around Domination, Kill Confirmed, and Team Deathmatch, basically the three game modes that I play the most. Um, this setup is very useful for the average player. Um, I actually do end up with a pretty nice score, and a lot of it is because I was using the support kill streak. Um, at no point during this game did I really get a long kill streak, but I mean, that's partially due to the fact that I'm really bad at predicting Team Deathmatch spawns, but also because I just kept getting killed when I needed to uh, sort of keep going. And this setup is what ended, basically got me a good score and ensured us the win in the, by the end of the game. Um, now, why choose the M16 or Type 95? Basically, it's a weapon that's long range, uh, and that means that you can sort of stay back, not run around too much, not have to worry about checking all your corners and whatever and just pick people off at range. That's generally what you want to do when you use this weapon. Um, again, this isn't the perfect example as far as gameplays go because um, I get a lot of short range kills. But that is the main idea behind using it. Stinger. Why do you want to use a stinger? Well, you can shoot down enemy air support and that's all great. But the main reason um, is that you're trying to shoot down enemy UAVs uh, and counter UAVs because you're playing the support role here. Uh, so you want to shoot them down as soon as you hear them. They pretty much call one out this game, and I shoot it down. And uh, on top of not having your teammates die as much, which is very, very important in Domination and in Team Deathmatch especially. Um, domination so that other the other team doesn't get as many kill streaks. Team Deathmatch because obviously dying is bad. Um, but it also gives you a point. And that point will add up towards your kill streaks. Now there's two important ones here, and there's one that you can sort of pass over and change around for something else possibly more useful. Uh, the important ones is the Stealth Bomber, which I know a lot of people hate, and the Remote Sentry, which I know no one hates because no one ever uses it, but it's actually a really, really good kill streak. Um, in Team Deathmatch, you can use a Remote Sentry just as basically a way to put yourself in a choke point without really being in any danger. And this is where you see I shoot down the UAV. Um, and you'll see how I use the uh, the uh, remote sentry later on in the game. And I actually do pick up, I think, four kills with it, which may not seem that significant, but that's four kills for pretty much just playing the game. Um, and then on top of that, you get the stealth bomber shortly after you get a remote sentry. And my stealth bomber, uh, well, you, you'll see what it does. Um, and obviously, I can't guarantee the results that you get in this game, but it really, it really is quite reliable, especially because you don't have to worry about picking up kill streaks. You don't have to focus all the time. Uh, you can die and still get these. Uh, now my third kill streak was the escort airdrop, and in a team death match, that was a mistake. Um, but uh, in in hindsight, what I should have done is probably used a uh, a sam turret or uh, maybe UAV just to help our, my team out. But that is that's basically the guns and the uh, and the kill streaks that you want to use and how you want to use them. Just stay back, pick people off the range, don't call your remote sentry when you have to run halfway across the map to use it like I did here. I luck out, but... Um, and So you, you don't want to run around too much, and it really becomes quite easy to be a vital component to your team. Um, you see in this game, I lead the lobby, and not once do I call in a predator missile, not once do I get an attack helicopter, or anything like that. It's, it's really simple. Um, and I know the game is more or less towards its end, but I think these are tips that you can use to, well, do a few things. One, change up your game style a little bit and have uh, a little more fun, let's say, uh, in just changing it up. And two, 
uh, you might actually pull some pretty nice scores doing this. And then you see right here, start off, the guy's right behind me, didn't even know it was on the other team. Pick up like a nice little triple kill right there. And that's pretty unusual, uh, considering no one really uses this. But um, now the other part is the perks. Uh, the perks, I'm using Sleight of Hand, Assassin, uh, and Steady Aim. Sleight of hand is necessary because you're not necessarily looking to shoot down air support or hide from air support. You want to shoot down UAVs, but you don't want to take yourself out of the fight too long to do it. So you want to pull it out as quickly as possible and just shoot it down. Um, and for that reason, you want to use sleight of hand. Now, assassin can easily be replaced for the people who are slightly more, um, let's say, better at this game uh, with hardline because then you just pick up assist. And that adds towards your kill streak, which you don't have to worry about holding on to because it'll just sort of happen anyway. Um, and then the last perk you can change out for marksman or sit rep or really anything. That's not that important. But uh, you see, you get five man multi kill right here. It's pretty sweet. Uh, and it's just it's something really different that I never once thought to use, but found out recently it's very very good. So I, I urge you guys to go out and try this tactic. Um, just put on Stealth Bomber, Stam Turret, and a Remote Sentry. Set yourself up at a Choke Point. Set yourself up on a Domination Flag. Set yourself up anywhere where you can get kills with these things, and it'll really pay off. But if you, uh, if you like this video, as always, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next commentary. It's been a while since I've given out tips, but hopefully you enjoyed them anyway.